guys welcome back so if you've seen i just did another one so it the clothes are the same for that reason and the makeup is the same for that reason and all that but i just did another video it's the same type of video but i was saying in that video that i would do them both at the same time because it's easier to just do it like that uh, but this video is going to be my loxiton update so if you have seen my previous video on Noxton, you I was talking about the shower cream, the shower oil, and the body lotion. And obviously, I've used it. It happened in that video as well. <clears throat> it's not, there's nothing wrong with my voice. It's just whatever. I was also saying in the previous video I just filmed that I've hit half an hour to like an hour in time in talking and filming. And I'm trying to lower that as best as I can for you guys' enjoyment because as much as I love to talk, I know that nobody really wants to sit here watching me do this for half an hour to an hour, right? So you'd rather just get the get it all um, immediately. So this is more as one update for me because I've used these products for an, a month and something. <laughs> a month and something. Um, and so obviously my thoughts are now going to probably change a bit i haven't seen the video so i'm i'm doing this blind i did see the video for the other one and i did say that in while well i was saying it I was i did see the video so i had an idea so what's that about but i think for this one i'm not gonna watch the video because i don't think my thoughts on what i did what i said the first time have anything to do with what i'm gonna be saying no um because it's more so from experience and use to that's what my thoughts are gonna be on on this in this video so i don't think it's necessary I may do an update in regards to actually after watching the video and then comparing the two to see you know how they work but with that being said let's get into it before that if you are new to this channel please subscribe if you have seen my videos before i'm very happy to have you back um in any case subscribe like this video and leave a comment down below telling me if you've tried any of these products since i recommended them and what your thoughts are um also ensure that you have the notification bell on because why wouldn't you if you're watching the video why would you want the notification bell on right and so with that without further ado let's get into it the first thing i want to talk about is the shower oil i think that's what i talked about first in that previous video which is hilarious but i think hitting routine that's where you go first i haven't finished it which is a plus for me um so um like i said i have used it for the entire month and it's that fat and i was shitting on i know i was shitting on the size in the previous video um because i was saying if it's it, it's um especially certain products didn't come in all the sizes and then use versus whatever so i know from that not having finished it between when i first got it to now which has been quite a while a couple of weeks that it's a good thing and i've used them every day so if you're worrying what you haven't showered every day i have i've showered morning and afternoon um with these products and I've used them. I've used them more than once, probably sometimes during the day. So I, I've used them enough where I would have run them out enough to have an understanding as to, you know, the longevity of these products. And so with the shower oil, I know that it has a refill of, I don't know if I touched on that in the previous video, but it does have a refill of about 500 mils. You can buy that. It's around the same price as the 20 to the 250 bottle that you're getting that I showcased in the first video. And so I think that is a little bit more value for money. If you're hitting one, I think you might as well just buy the refill the first time instead of going in and buying the first, the like the just the bottle. If you're doing it for the purpose of buying the bottle, go ahead. But I feel like if you already have, you know, if you 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 can just get like a five dollar bottle that is five hundred mils for you to just pour it in because it's the same thing. But apart from that, for use, which is my first use, I it took some getting used to it's not a soap i mean it is a soap but it's not a soap as in not a traditional soap right it's not one that you it, it doesn't lather in the way that you would expect it to as a um, body wash-esque product because it's an oil it's not a um it's, it's not really a soap soap um it is an oil it's an oil type of um cleanser so it will just emulsify once it hits water. It's very cream-esque in its emulsification, is what I can say over using it. And it, it, 
cleans for me pretty nicely. Um, I've had no real issues with using it to clean to wash my body and I can say that I've enjoyed using it to wash my body. It's a very nice experience. So I feel like if you're using it for the experience, if you want to kind of give yourself a little bit of something something while you're using it, it's really nice. In terms of shaving, because I have shaved with it, I've not shaved with it, but I've shaved whilst after I've washed my body with it, I do think it helps because it does have, I think I said this in the previous video, that it leaves a kind of a, a nice an oil film on the body not in a bad way more so in like a pre-moisturized kind of way so you've washed your body with it you've washed it off but your skin still your skin feels like you've added a moisturizer to it before you've moisturized your body you've added lotion so i and i was saying that if you prefer that then you know that's up to you i do not so it was it was something that kind of turned me off of the product but I would repurchase it as a con to continue using because I feel like it's something that you get used to over time because I think that I've used it over the past couple of weeks and I'm just like I haven't when you first use it you notice it because it's not something that you're used to but when you've gotten used to it and you've continuously used it it's a little bit less annoying or less of something that you notice as time goes on so I feel like if I continued to use it for the rest of the year I w and somebody says oh you know it has a film on it I wouldn't it wouldn't register to me because it's not something I'm, I'm no seeing it's just something I'm used to right so that in itself is I think a really it's not bad again I, sh I hate the price and if Loxtan were to come out with making it a little bit cheaper for the for the size to, into comparison to their other thingy to their other um their 500 ml version i think i would be a little bit more lenient towards saying go and buy this i currently don't think it's a necessity mostly because you've had you have all the products like vaseline and nivea um palmer's so even avino um avino other products they have their own version of it and it is cheaper and it's very similar in the ideal different ingredients i think because it's shea butter and i think those ones are like cocoa butter and avinos is oat and you know vaseline is i think cocoa butter as well but it's vaseline i don't know and I, I can't tell you specifically i don't know which one they is but the idea behind them are all the same so you're really getting the same product without the price tag that you'd be paying for this one and i would recommend those before i recommend this one for the shower cream shower creams aren't really popular in the drugstore i'm not gonna say they're not there they're just not really popular you have i think very few brands have a shower cream in the drugstore um, dove <laughs> isn't well their original formula i want to say when they reformulated it's kind of changed but their original formula i think was more of a shower cream formula than a body wash kind of formula which is why i loved this because it reminded me of the dove body wash that i loved when i was back home obviously when i came here there was a different formulation um because regulation time change once you move in different areas i also think because they are no cruelty free they've reformulated to match that as well um also it and so it's a little bit not the same so it's, it's not gonna be the same um but for the shower cream it is finished I'm, it's I'm very very sad to say that it is finished i've been trying to like knock out the rest of the product from the bottle but it is at its end and um unfortunately it does not have a refill unlike the shower oil which has a refill this one doesn't which i think lockstand needs to put that on i think if you're gonna make your other products have refills i think the entire line should have a refill because it would make more sense because not every especially because it's targeted as a sensitive skin product i feel like if it is that you're gonna make your regular line the, the regular shower cream the shower oil have a free fill your shower cream which is supposedly the same in terms of the purpose but it's for sensitive skin it should then have a refill it's just you know for your understanding um but it doesn't and so you're paying the same price that you did for the two filthy bottle constantly which for me is a bit of a turnoff. I feel like I'd much rather just pay the price for the Dove one and I'm getting the same kind, kind of the same. It's the original um, one, the deeply nourishing. It's basically the same thing, 
with a lower price tag and i'm getting like twice as much products in it right so there is where i really was like mm, i don't know because for me i'd rather not pay that much money if that's all that there is to it it's just that one bottle i did prefer the shower cream though to the shower oil and i think a lot has to do with the fact that i'm used to the texture and the formulation of the shower cream than more so than i am to the shower oil because i've used it much longer and i'm a bit more understanding as to how it works but with that being said i do think that longevity wise the shower oil is better than the shower cream because i've used them both the same i've sometimes used the shower oil more than i've used the shower cream i think as well i tend to use the i use more of the cream in a single use than i do the oil because the oil kind of it's an oil it will spread a little bit easier whilst the cream is like a cream as texture so it's more thick and it doesn't spread along the same so i'm more likely to buy the shower oil than i would the cream do i think that it was a good experience it is it, it was and just like with the oil it was a very nourish it's a very nourishing product i can say whilst using them i have seen a difference in my skin i have noticed that my skin has been a little bit more soft i don't i'm not as dry as i was before and i mean that in the sense where previously if i was using any normal body wash the moment if i don't lotion after immediately afterwards i know i know i'm dry but with these products i didn't have that issue which for me was a plus so for me that kind of bumped up the understanding of the price for personally because it gave me that um regardless so i'm like well i'm paying for that kind of a nourishing effect on my body versus if i'm paying the 10 pounds that i would be paying for the regular body wash and it doesn't do that for me so i think in that sense it, it was worth the price right um so it's it's a little bit iffy i don't overall like the price but i think i would be willing to spend the money on it if i had to because i had a good experience with it it, it it's for me something that works better than all the products i've tried from the drugstore um and i've tried a lot and in regards to the same type of products i've found that these work better over the period that i've used them on my skin than those that i've tried are all the same right for the sh for the body lotion which is the final product that i've tried also the oxtain brand i think that i still have some it's it's in the shower oil i think around the same in terms of how much i have left probably this has less in it because there's a lotion um but i stand by the use for price the use for size i don't know because i only use i think one pump per body part per limb i want to say so i use one pump my arm one pump my arm one pump my leg one pump and four pumps my leg i use a full well three a full pump for my thighs and then half a pump for each of my legs my um calves so for me i'm using what five pumps on my limbs and then about another full pump for my chest and my back so that's what six six pumps twice a day six pump yes yeah, so that's 12 pumps a day and I'm getting a decent amount of product in each pump. Um, so, and I can sometimes go with not using a full pump for like the full part of my body. So I, I am okay with that. But again, it's the same price as the rest of the line. It does not have a refill. So that sucks. But I understand more why as a lotion it doesn't have a refill because for a lotion, it's more likely that you're going to just waste all the product in that refill packaging than you would game with the oil you can get it easily oh because it's an oil with the cream same thing because it's still a liquid with the, sh with the body lotion it is a thicker product and so you'd have to be like scraping through the rest of the to get it all out so i understand why it's not um sold as a refill product however i would have preferred if they had it in a 500 ml bottle as well like they do for the oil 
because then that would be a little bit more understandable that you know you've used the body oil you use the shower oil so before they put the body lotion on their body cream which is the tub that comes in a refill which is the tub part you just kick it in and you have the lid so that you know that has a refill but that's 200 ml which is less than the body lotion and it's a little bit more contaminatory because you have to dip your finger in it so again it's, it's all things to take notice of i enjoyed it and i will add to the fact that if it were that i was using this product um i would pay this pay for this product just because it's something that i've used and i've noticed that my skin has felt much more hydrated and moisturized over the month that i have used it however and i compare this to this product all the time because i think these are my standards the waleda body cream and the waleda body lotion i can get the very same results and i'm paying the same price for the body cream and the body lotion from waleda for the one body lotion from Loxtan, right the problem the only difference is the fragrance and i've touched upon the waleda fragrance all the time it's a very strong fragrance and not everyone will like it and not everyone will um, want to use it just for that purpose but I feel like if you can get away from the fragrance and if you're looking for a product that works, if I'm doing price comparison, this is going to be odd. If for the, um, in the sense of really, really cheap, I know Nivea has a really rich cream and I know people love Nivea's cream. I don't, which is hilarious because I am all, I'm all for water and oil formulations. I love oil-based moisturizers. I think they're amazing, especially if you have dry skin. But I feel like for me, the Nivea cream just does not, I don't know what it, what it is about it. I just don't like it. And I've had it for years when I was back home in Jamaica. My mom used to have them and I hated it then. When I moved here, she bought them and I hated them here then. So I feel, I don't know, I, I just, I've never liked them as a product. And I'm not sure why. I probably need to revisit it now. I haven't used it in a couple of years. I feel like I need to revisit it now and see if my thoughts have changed or if my thoughts remain the same. If they have changed, I'll talk about it. If they haven't, you'll never get away from me again because there's no point. Um, but if I am going to be comparing it to my own personal, um, what I personally like, the Waleda cream in terms of drugstore based price wise is amazing. You get amazing results for what you're paying for. If you don't mind and you want to pay for the luxury of the brand, the Lux Tan Cream is amazing because it, it does do is essentially basically the same thing um at a kind of a higher price point and i feel like overall if you want complete luxury and just complete Im immersion in hydration and moisture as a product the augustinus beta cream they have rich body cream um well, the rich body lotion as well um that is about twice <laughs> the price of the um the lux tan one and I love Augustina Spader. I always have. I always will. And like I said, if I were if I were to be buying a product that I could afford all the time, it would be that in terms of moisture and hydration because the, I think that brand does it really well and my skin loves it. So again, these are all based on, like I said, this video is going to be based on my experience and therefore my thoughts based on that experience. I loved all these products, 100% have i and but i've had products in the drugstore that i think have worked very similarly however i think i would put my money down to repurchase these products again because i feel like for what i've paid and the experience i've had and the way my skin has responded to these products is worth it however i don't think i'd ever look at someone and say the price is 100 percent justified there's no way I would ever say that to anyone for any reason because I don't think it is. I, I think it's a really good product. And I think that if you've purchased it, you're going to love it and you're going to love the experience of using it. And you're probably going to be thinking, well, maybe want to buy it one more time. But I don't think that it's the kind of product that you need to invest in as your end all be all for your body care line. And that sucks because I wanted it to be, you know, especially because of the price point and from my experience when i've heard people say oh my god i love this product it's 
and again there is a good product it's just not something that it, i think is a hundred percent necessary in terms of an investment for your body care and that is where i stand with that and that is how i will that's the belief i'll hold on to moving forward and i think i think i needed to do that because i already set that path up for the when i first did my first impressions i love them all um and i still do i just feel i know that i've used them for so long that i've developed a routine in my own i'm like i would look for something else now to see if i could get that at a cheaper price if i can i'll let you know just obviously because i want to inform you guys of this because i've already set this as a standard like well i love these products i recommend them the price is the only problem here so I, if i can find um cheaper products like i said i'm gonna retry the nivea one if it works out you guys will know and let me add it onto this list um so i'm gonna look for that for you and i'll let you guys know um and with that being said that I think that's the end of it i've taken 20 minutes so i'm very happy about that um but that i think that would be it if you like i said before if you guys have tried these products i would love to know what are your thoughts on them because i think for me there was a hype surrounding it that i wanted to to get to and i didn't get there um not so that i hated it like i said i loved it my skin loves it and i'll continue to use them if if i'm if i i will reverse them if anything i just didn't think that how other people you know influencers when they hype a product up they're like oh my god this is amazing that hype that i was told i was going to have it didn't really hit that mark 100 percent um so i don't know let me know what you guys think and if anything i will see you all in the next one really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you all bye guys <laughs>